Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I'm going to be mastering and reviewing the CZ805 Assault Rifle in Battlefield 4. Now this is the uh, little assault rifle that it seems like everybody forgot about. I remember back in the beta days of BF4 we were all watching trailer footage and looking at the CZ805 and saying what gun is that? That's a really cool looking gun. I've never seen that before. This is made by the same Czech Republic company that made the CZ3A1 which has actually become quite a popular little weapon. This gun never really seemed to catch on, and once I start talking about the stats, you'll understand why. Maybe, perhaps one day, DICE will actually take another look at this gun and see how they can update it to make it a little bit more relevant. Now, sometimes in Battlefield, you get a gun that's not particularly great at any one thing, but it ends up being decent at most things, and this can, in many cases, make it a very good weapon. You see this with things like the M416. Unfortunately, the CZ805 isn't particularly good at any one thing, nor is it really a jack-of-all-trades weapon it's just kind of mediocre in every category now popping up the sim thick stats here we can take a look at what this gun is and what it can do and surprisingly the last time I actually looked at this gun and pulled up the sim thick stats it had even worse stats it had higher side to side recoil it now has lesser side to side recoil but that really doesn't fix some of the bigger issues with this weapon the gun has a very imbalanced recoil and it almost feels like the gun is bouncing more than it should comparing it to other guns with similar styles of recoil I just don't feel like like those weapons are bouncing around quite as much as this one does. It makes it very hard for me to zero in and get targets at longer ranges. I basically had to put the angled foregrip on here and try tap firing the weapon a little bit to try and maintain control or at least get accurate shots at long range. Close quarters it doesn't matter too much, uh, you're just going to be limited by the rate of fire on this weapon which is 700 rounds per minute definitely on the lower spectrum of damage output. It's also got a fairly slow reload of 2.35 seconds and 2.9 seconds, so it really doesn't have a lot going for it for close quarter combat. Sure, you can use it in CQB, 700 rounds per minute will allow you to kill people, it's just really not gonna be ideal. Now sometimes I get confused by guns in game because I'm trying to outfit them, trying to make them work for some form of gameplay, thinking, you know what, the devs must have designed this weapon to be good at something, and then if I get stumped, I look at the stats and say, what were the devs trying to do? with this weapon usually there's a game plan with a gun you know it's going to be good long range it's going to be good close quarters it's going to be a decent hybrid gun a jack of all trades maybe it'll be awesome at hip fire usually the stats try and tell a story well looking at the stats it looks like the cz805 is trying to be a decent medium to long-ish range weapon it's got a 700 round per minute rate of fire means it's not going to be good in close quarters but the lower rate of fire also means you're not going to experience as much recoil generally speaking it's got a very high bullet velocity of 620 meters per second, again good for hitting targets at range and moving targets so you don't really have to lead as much with your shots. It's got a slower reload time so that means it's not really going to be that great for close quarters. And it's aiming down sight accuracy is 0.2 which puts it on the more accurate side of assault rifles. So everything seems to be kind of pointing towards an accurate longer range weapon. Unfortunately the recoil pattern just isn't really ideal for long range and it's kind of weird because the recoil itself doesn't seem as high as it should be on paper but when I get in game everything seems to bounce around a little bit more. I almost wonder if there's some other weird stats that aren't necessarily registering on Simthic stats that are affecting this weapon or perhaps it's just an unfortunate combination of cycle rate and recoil amount that just gives this gun a really unsmooth action. Now that being said it's still an assault rifle it's still a full automatic weapon in Battlefield 4 with a nice 24 damage maximum which means you're still going to be able to kill people with it. In fact you might have some amazing games with this gun. Doesn't necessarily make it good it just might mean you're an excellent player or perhaps you got lucky that round. I'm still a firm believer that as long as you employ good tactics you have a general good understanding of the game and you make sure to take advantage of your teammates and use teamwork whenever possible you can still do pretty darn well in each round. And simply put when you don't have a strong weapon like the CZ805 you'll probably want to employ slightly more campy tactics or take advantage of rooftop camping as I am in this clip here. Giving yourself a map advantage is a great way to do well with any weapon. Weapon. You can always just put a suppressor on this weapon as well and just play sneaky. If you really like that style of gameplay, you're good at flanking people, getting in behind them, suppressor is going to make any gun decent because so many people live off of that minimap. 
And here's some food for thought while we're at it. It's something I've actually been thinking about a bit lately because I think the suppressor is one of the best attachments you can put on your weapon if you're playing on, say, TDM or just in general. It's so incredibly useful staying off that minimap. What if the suppressor, instead of keeping you off the minimap entirely, just reduced the range at which people would pick you up on the minimap? So normally when you shoot a gun, you're showing up on that map to all players in the entire game. If they have their bigger map open and you shoot a gun across the map, they'll still see exactly where you are. This makes it incredibly easy for people with mortars to pinpoint your location and basically shoot you, especially snipers. So maybe a suppressor would reduce the range at which people saw you on the minimap to, say, 20 meters. This means people in extreme close quarters would know where you were, but if you're shooting at people from a slight range, they might not be able to figure out where that fire was coming from. It'd also be a cool way to try and differentiate the suppressors. You have all these different kinds of suppressors you can put on your gun, and currently their only difference is aesthetics, but what if we applied extra stats to these? They could reduce the signature that you appear on that minimap. So say one suppressor reduces your range to 20 meters, another could reduce it to 10 meters. Maybe one is sort of further at 50 meters, but to make up for its reduced suppression effects, you get higher bullet velocity, because that's one of the main downsides of suppressors right now, is it reduces the heck out of your bullet velocity. So you could have different reductions in bullet velocity and different suppression levels. Anyway, I know this is pretty off topic from the CZ805, but it's just something that was on my mind recently, and I thought I'd run it past you guys, see what you thought about having suppressors do different things. And there we go, finally get the CZ805 Mastery Dog Tag with 500 kills. Probably won't be coming back to this assault rifle anytime soon unless DICE gives it an update. Now as always guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to let me know in the comments which weapon you'd like me to master next. There's a list of them in the video description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.